probably heard people say things like, I'm so stressed, or that stresses me out. But what does that really mean? What's stress all about anyways? Stress is normal and natural, and it happens to everyone. And stress can be triggered by all sorts of things. Like the time Angela's mom flipped her lid when she discovered that Angela was attempting to build a blowtorch for baking. Yep, that's stress all right. You see, our brain and our body are connected. They work together as a team. When we feel worried or unsure about something, our brain sends a special signal through our body. It's called the stress response. The stress response helps us get ready to face the things that come our way. Let's take a closer look at each of the classmates to learn more. As we know, Jared loves sports, but each year during team tryouts, he gets really nervous. His palms get sweaty, and his heart starts to pound quickly. It feels like he can even hear it in his ears. For Alex, it happened at school when they misplaced their backpack. Alex could feel the stress building up in their body. Their breathing got really shallow, and their face got really hot. Owen got kind of snippy with his friends today, but he realized he wasn't really upset with them. He was feeling edgy and tense about his upcoming piano recital. Owen also felt like there were butterflies in his stomach. Ever since her best friend moved away, Hazel's been feeling worried about fitting in with a new group of friends. Lately, she's even having some trouble concentrating on her schoolwork, which isn't typical for Hazel. Her mind wanders to the time when no one asked to be her partner, and she felt left out. Angela was late getting to school this morning because she had an argument with her parents about getting her chores done before leaving the house. Angela's had a bit of a headache since the disagreement, and her throat feels a little tight. What's happening to all the classmates? Yep, you've got it. They're all experiencing the stress response. Just like Jared, Alex, Owen, Hazel, and Angela, when we're faced with something new, tricky, or big feelings are involved, it's totally normal for our stress response to show up. In fact, we can even expect our stress response at these times. Although there are some types of stress that are not good for us, most of the time, stress is actually helpful. When we're brave and able to face our worries, we build a stronger brain. It's true. The more we practice something, the better we get at it, and our stress response gets smaller and smaller. It also turns out that how we think about our stress and the actions that we take to deal with it make a big difference too. Let's check out how each of the classmates either changes their thinking, engages in problem solving, or practices a calming strategy. Jared imagines himself doing well in the team tryouts, which helps him feel more confident. Then he colors for a while before heading to bed for a good night's sleep. Alex notices the stress response building in their body and takes some slow, deep breaths. Then they ask their teacher for help finding the missing backpack. Although Owen is pretty consistent with his drums, he realizes that spending some extra time practicing the piano will help him feel more prepared for the recital. He also uses a thinking strategy. Hazel is working on practicing her flexible thinking, like being open to playing the games that other people want to play, which will help her get along better with new friends. Angela figures she better solve this problem with her parents before it comes back again tomorrow morning. So she and her parents sit down after school. They have a conversation about how to work together and come up with a new plan for Angela's chores. All of the classmates have practiced some really great strategies to cope with and face their stressors. Fantastic work, team. But remember, 
There are times when stress can feel too big for kids to handle alone. We all need help sometimes. When this happens, it's really important that you ask a trusted adult for support. So, the more we know about how stress works, the easier it is to handle. Where do you feel your stress response in your body? What are some of the ways that you cope with stress? How has stress helped you face a challenge?